Yo, what's up, Drifters? Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my 90 adhesion pro tune. It's quite a fast and grippy tune, um, kind of gives me FD tune vibes, but just on a 90 adhesion car. Um, this is the same tune I used in one of my previous videos where I chased Gooseyest a few times on Red Rock. Um, you should definitely 100% check that video out. Um, so, let's get into it. For the tune, front spring length at 13 and rear spring length at 14. Front spring stiffness 95 and rear at 80. Um, the damper for the rebound and the front and all of this stuff, yeah, um, it's all maxed out for this tune. I don't always have it maxed out, but for this tune, maxed out works really well, especially with the front toe at 0 0.68 positive. Um, so on transition spaces, we have quite large angle as soon as you transition, and we have rear at zero. Mind for all of these values, they don't have to be exactly the same, just try and get it as close as possible. Got front camber at negative five, rear camber at neg negative 0 0.63, or anywhere close, like I said before. Front anti roll bar at 10, and rear anti roll bar at 8. These ones quite precise. We have cast at 12 and a half, Ackerman angle at 68%, max steering angle at 60 degrees. Now we go into wheels. We've got 19 inches all around, 255s all around. Now here comes the important parts with this tune: is we have 95 kilopascals of pressure on the tires for both rear and front. Um, this provides most of the grip so if you change these values then you will get a completely different um, feel to the car obviously we're running 90 adhesions because 90s is life um, front wheel track at 4 and rear at 2 um, 30% tire profile normally I use 25 but for this tune we're using 30% because it's quite grippy um, getting into the engine running 697 brake horsepower um, how I got to that is by using 1.2 um, atmospheres of turbocharged air pressure. We have max rev limiter, max torque, and only 1% engine tune up. For the transmission, this is where I highly suggest you get the values as close as you can. Transmission type we have standard diff locking ratio 0 0.81, final drive 3.99, gear 1. 2,90, get 2, 1,40, get 3, 1,11, get 4, 0.95, get 5, 0,90, get 6, 0,85. With this transmission setup, you'll be able to do drifts in second gear pretty much every single run, um, especially if you're running Red Rock a lot. Um, and then third gear, you can just, I call it catch up gear, because as soon as you put that third in, Get a lot more low end torque and can catch up pretty easily. Obviously, we're running brake torque of 1200 newton meters um, and a front brake bias of 85%. So, when you are braking, you don't really slow down, it's just to uh, slide along the drift with like the drift. Don't know how else to explain it, but yeah. Um, obviously, no launch control and ABS is a yes. I've seen some people that are saying no to ABS, but. I've just always had it on, never bothered me. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, to demonstrate what this tune can do, since it is a pro tune, I'm going to be doing or using the tandem drift function in CarX, which little people actually use, but it's a very helpful function. Um, and then I'll be sharing some clips of in game moments with the rest of the Sui Slide members. So um, keep up for that.
Oui. Oui. Oh, mon Oui. Oui. Yes.